What's happening, fam? LA y'all movement still moving. Um, this description and stuff, stuff is in the description box. Sorry, but this video is about the Black Manosphere pros and cons. Um, I saw the thing with Solo. Salute to Solo. Salute to O'Shea. Even salute to Donovan, Xanatos, you know what I'm saying, Ramil. Um, and here's the thing. Uh, the black manosphere, is, to me, in my opinion, is a great thing. There's some pros to it and there's some cons to it. And what I mean by that is, I'm going to start with the con. The biggest con that we have is beef. And... That causes a lot of the other issues because basically if a brother starts to do good, somebody's going to beef with him. It's going to look like it's jealousy or if, if, a, if a brother doesn't agree with something another brother says, they, gonna, they might beef. You know, they could be in the same accord on everything like until that one video comes out and then they're beefing for an extended period of time. You know, not necessarily a sense where, you know, this is my point of view, this is your point of view. Maybe a, a disagreement, but the problem was has been really beef, you know. Um, if somebody... How can I say this? If someone is changing up the way they do things, you're going to you're going to get beef because like you would like this and then if you change or evolve it's going to be beef if 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 people decided to say okay well we really about self improvement so this is how to self improve in some ways people going to get beef you know and the only you know and the beef always causes another problem now i will say this Beef creates a lot of traffic. So when people are beefing, you know, people are viewing. And that's why they say the effery, you know, uh, kind of reigns supreme. But at the same time, if you want to end the beef, start actually talking about business and watch people scatter like roaches when the lights come on, right? Because... Beef, you're going to get an audience. Business, not so much. You know. Now, one of the, the issues that, I, that I've noticed is, you know, even what they were talking about was the racial aspect. Where the black manosphere and, the, you know, and predominantly the white manosphere, you know, there's this intermingling, right? And some people see it as a problem, some people don't. Um, from what I view it, it's, to me, it's a problem. And I'm going to tell you why. One is because initially, I mean, if y'all didn't know, a lot of the guys in the black manosphere were already intermingled in that space. And racism became, was a problem or, or the, the need... The reason why it's separated in the first place was because they have their own issues and we have our own issues. Let's just put it like that. But racism did play part too. But so what winds up happening is, truth is, from where I'm standing, and in, in, in a sense being unbiased, the the white manosphere has a bigger platform because bigger audience. The black manosphere has more more and better content. So, you know, I can understand in, in, a, in a business sense why better and more diverse content, let me put it like that. Um, I can understand why they would want to want us in, in quote unquote part of their sphere because we could give them more content and make them more money. Would they do that for us? Absolutely not. So... That's the problem, you know, and you know, to me, that's one of the issues with that. One of the probably the, some of the major issues. 
So the other thing is this, you know, if like one of the, the, another little con, I'm gonna get to a bunch of pros. Uh, is it's not just beef. It's people coming in. I should have added this to beef, though. I didn't think about it. You got guys who are in the black manosphere who have a who want to change it. You know, they they came, you know, on a on a different wave. Not necessarily a different age group, but a different wave. So some of a different age group, some of a different wave. And now they want a, their message to be um, the predominant message or, or just a, 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 a very, very loud message. They want to carve out their space. So in order to do that, you got to trash the message that came prior. Not necessarily trash it, but you got to have some, it had to be somewhat adversarial to it, which creates a house divided, which part of the reason why other people could feel like they could come along and poach you because it's a divided house. Um, now, the pros, though, like I said before, our content is bar none better. Um, our diversity of content is better. Um, for the most part, you know, our networking is, is pretty much, I, I can't, how can I put it? We are known to work with each other male on the male side and even adding females in there. We're, we're known to collaborate. Our collaboration side is better. Like, you get more collaborations in the black manosphere. You know, some people are like, huh? Like, think about it. You, panels have been a thing. We've been doing panels for so many long now. I know in the white manosphere, they do, they have panels, they have shows, but uh, it, it doesn't seem like a normal occurrence. Like, people could just hop on like that. You know, we're more access, accessible. Um, I think, you know, I can't say the back end part of, of, of who has more uh, services. I don't know about that part. I'm not even going to say that. Um, but the other pro about it is being accessible, we're not, um, we're, re we're more relatable. And the irony about that is, you know, the pros is we're so much more relatable that a lot of us, you know, and a lot of the talking points in the manosphere, uh, the the manosphere in all, of all groups, right, of all men, the talking points are really the same. It's just who you like more. So the talking points, for the most part, are relatively the same. It's just you have different people to do it. You know what I'm saying? You got young, you got old, you got tall, you got short, you got good looking, you got ugly, you got muscular, you got fat. You know what I'm saying? You got um, educated, you got hood, you got you got everything pretty much you need. The same message, you know what I'm saying? You know, and so everybody could could get exactly what you got nerds, you got, you know, uh, jocks, whatever you want to call it. So that's a, a pretty much a, a, one of our big, a big strength of ours that we're on the same page for the most part. The beef is a problem. The beef is bad for business in a sense. But if that, if it's, you know, but the message is really on point, you know. And on top of that, um, we have more foresight. We're more so the canaries in the coal mine. So our message hits first because our message is always ahead of the curve. Like, some, you know, there have been things in, in the black manosphere that have been talked about, you know, um, that people seem to forget about, you know, the, the economic crash was talked about, you know, I was looking at Netflix this weekend and they were talking about a CRISPR, we, you know, they've been talking about CRISPR in the black manosphere for, for two, three years, you know, um, they've been talking about the political landscape. I remember when, when they said initially, you know, that Hillary Clinton wasn't going to win the election, you know, the, you know, that was, that was long time ago, like, we have great foresight in this space. And a lot of that stuff is attributed to one person, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to you, because you, 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 you are the master teacher. Say, say what you want, but, you know. But at the same time, there's a lot of other brothers who talked on the relationship side and, and the improvement side and the self-improvement side that have been ahead of the curve. So, 
you know, the black manosphere has a lot of pros, more pros than cons. It's just uh, our cons kind of give people an opportunity to infiltrate. And, and sometimes people look at it like, you know, let me, and it's the thing about that, and I'm be done. Um, some people are like, it's not infiltration. Well, here's the thing. This pushing the narrative that dealing with like black culture is so dysfunctional that it needs to be better by being by intermingling intermingling with white culture to make the black culture better. It's not gonna work because their culture has created all of these things. So and it's not and and let's be honest. If you're black, you know you're not really. Uh, how can I say this? You know that America doesn't necessarily know all of black culture. They just know the dysfunctional parts. So, and we advertise the dysfunctional parts. So, the functional parts of black culture, we, not, we don't put on camera, which is our issue, but we got to fix that too. But when we're functional, that we ain't tripping about. And we don't want nobody to whiten that up, in a sense. We don't feel like assimilating like that, you know. And, you know, so that's going to be a battle. But like, share, subscribe, catch y'all in the next one. Peace.